welcome back to today's fun little video. I got a jar full of books, my little spindy wand, that's what we're calling this little doohickey thing. But anyway, I'm going to pick out mm, between maybe 9 or 10 books that I would like to try to uh, get through and hopefully I put some of the bigger ones that I need to finish in here as well so hopefully I don't get that on the first try but if I do we have to suck it up and get it bred so I guess without further ado let's do our fun little jar challenge even though it's not really a jar it's like a jug but anyway we're rolling with it so without like I said without further ado let's just go ahead and jump on into it. So let's go. We got our little wand. This is going to be fun, intimidating. Try not to peek at the papers. And let's see. Grab just a random one. What are we? Ooh, okay. We have a Conjuring of Light and Vengeful. Those are the two books of the V.E. Schwab that I need to finish reading. We'll try to show you guys here if it will focus. That's what I got. And then we'll get the books at the end. Okay, let's do another little shuffle. From the bottom up to the top. Okay. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. The rest of Gideon the Ninth, because I really need to finish that. And the second book is coming out in April, so this is perfect. Okay. So we got one, two, three so far. Do another little shuffle with my wand. I feel like a Wizards of Waverly Place right now with the wand. Uh, the good old days. Alright, what do we got now? Is it a two book or is it a rest of something? The rest of the smoke thieves. Perfect. Okay, that's four. Shuffling, shuffling. Woo! in the eyes. What do we got? A rest of a course of wings and Bruin. I really need to finish that. Started it in December. Did I ever finish it? Oops. I'm sorry. Shuffling it again. Some of the papers are trying to I'm out. Not cool. Papers not cool at all. We're going to go with the one that was right there, which is Onyx and Ivory. Might be saying that book wrong, but there's this one. So now we are up to one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's stir my magic potion. No, you get back in there. That doesn't count because it was halfway out of the bowl. Woo! Look at us go. Okay. First one on top. Okay, this one is part of a series, which is a betrayal series. It's supposed to be something similar to the Hunger Games, so and I've had that on my shelves forever, so perfect. When I was done picking out, I need to find the books and tell you all what it's about. That's going to be the fun part, you know? Okay. Ugh, what do we got? Ooh, yes. The Embrace series. I've also had that on my shelf, I think, since like mm, 2014, if not sooner than that. You know, forever. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, two more. Lately I've been lucky with like nine or ten books, so that's average. As long as we don't get a big book, I have a feeling we might get a big book. Oh, please don't be a big book. Please don't be a big book. Please don't be a big book. Ash Princess! Not a big book. Yay! But we still have one more fail. One more. And then we're going to get the books. Because, you know, that's fun. No, you go down. Spin, 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 spin. We'll go for the bottom again. No, please don't be a big one. Are we a big one? We are not a big one. Far from the tree. All right. Now what I have to do is go and find the book. So I will be right back, fam. All right, Sam, I found my books that I chose from the jar, stack one. And stack two. So let's go ahead and talk about them. All right. The book I have here is Onyx and Ivory by Mindy. Arnett. I know this has been around for a little while, but I have yet to read it, so without further ado. They call her Traitor Kate. It's a title Kate Barrington inherited from her father after he tried to assassinate the High King of Rhyme. Cast out of the nobility, she now works for the royal courier service. Only the most skilled ride for the relay and only the fastest survive for when night falls. The night drakes deadly flightless dragons come out to hunt. I like the fact that so far it has assassins, court, and dragons. Those are like my three main things that I really like. Okay. Fortunately, Kate has a secret edge. She is a wilder born with a forbidden magic, ooh, and it's got magic, that allows her to influence the minds of animals. And it's uh, this magic that leads her to a carbon massacred by dark, by drakes, sorry, in broad daylight, the only survivor, Corwin Tormain. The son of the king, her first love, the boy she swore to forget after he commanded her father to death. No, it kind of sounds like Prince Joffrey. Okay, anyway. With their past once more entangled, Kate and Corin must put the past behind them to face the, this new threat of drakes who attack in the daylight and the darker minutes behind them. Acclaimed author, okay, that's just about the author, but anyway, that sounds super good, and like I said, it has assassins, has a court, has dragons, has magic, it sounds like my kind of book, so hopefully we will get to this, I'm thinking maybe next month for sure, even though I have a few other books I'm going to try to read, but we're going to make March a long month. Alright, and then I know I can find this one on audio from my library, so that's even better. And that is the third book to A Darker Shade of Magic series. I really need to get to more reading A Conjuring of Light. I don't want to read the back of it because it is the third in the series, and I have yet to get to it because I don't... Spoilers! I know a lot happened at the end of book two, and Lila has to go and find Cal, and that's all I really want to know. So, sorry for a short summary on this one, but it's bittersweet, so we're going to leave it that way. And the same thing for 
Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. Book 2 left off on a good uh, kind of cliffhanger for me. I want to find out what happens more between Victor and Sydney and Mitch and her little dog. I think dog they named him? I can't remember for sure. It's been a little bit. But I can't wait to find out what happens in here and what new people they meet with more extraordinary powers that they don't have so that's gonna be interesting so uh, definitely looking forward to reading vengeful just because it's time and I really need to even though it's not the spooky season but you know what it doesn't have to be a spooky season to be in the mood to read spooky books am I right that's all I have to rave about that and then I know I gave a little bit of a summary to uh, the smoke thieves in my December TBR video, so I will try to see if I can link it somewhere. If not, I know it's already on my channel, but I do need to finish reading the rest of this, and from what I remember reading back in December, a lot happened then, but I didn't get a chance to finish it. But I really am going to try to finish it. I got to page 24, which isn't too terribly far, but I remember enjoying it, so we're going to continue, because the third book also of this comes out this year so yes need need to read this in the second so I can wait long enough for the third one even though I'm gonna be on in this huge cliff hanger <sighs> yes and then it's like dark magic in this one and there's romance and power that's all we really need to know about this one Alright, and another one I really, I know there's a lot of book reviews on this one, it's just uh, the Necromancer book. <laughs> I really need to finish this book. I got halfway into it, and then I like, sat down, I got up to page 50, but I want to get more into it because the second book, like I, I think I said, but the second book of this comes out in April. I think I'll have to double check but anyway I would love to try to finish this because I really did enjoy the first part when I read it just got sidetracked and I set a lot of books down I do that frequently and I need to stop that will I probably not it's gonna be the same thing with a court of wing wings and ruin I don't know why but every time I try to say this name to this book it comes out like that, and I'm, I'm sorry, but I, it happens. And this is the third book to A Court of Thorns and Roses. Any time I try to say one of these books, it... Glad I got it. <laughs> anyway, we're just following Feyre and Rayson and ooh, Tamlin and his court. It's just like, I want to know what happens. Like, I'm on the edge of my seat, like, what happens? Does he find out? Does he not? We don't know until we read the book, which is hopefully very, very soon. <clears throat> Alright, another series I'm going to talk about I haven't heard a lot of around on booktube, which is Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian and... Theodosa was six when her country was invaded and her, and her mother, the Fire Queen, was murdered before her eyes. On that day, the crazier took Theodosa's family, her land, and her name. Thea was crowned Ash Princess, a title shame to wear in her new life as a prisoner. For ten years, Thea has been a captive in her own palace. She's endured the relentless abuse and critical of the cashier and his court. She is powerless, surviving in her new world only by burying the girl she was deep inside. Then, one night, the cashier forces her to do the unthinkable. With the blood on her hands and all hope is reclaiming her throne lost, she realizes that surviving is no longer enough. But she does have a weapon. Her mind is sharper than any sword. And power isn't always won on the battlefield. For ten years, the Ash Princess has been 
her land pillaged and her people enslaved that all ends here oh, that sounds really good looking forward to reading to this and I have the complete series of it so hmm, we're getting somewhere slowly all right <coughs> this next book I have had on my shelf like I was saying in the beginning of the video since like 2014 if not sooner but I want to say maybe 2014 and that is Embraced by Jessica Shervington. Um, all I know about this one is that they're angel books but let me tell you what it is about. My girl, happy 17th birthday. I wish I could be there with you but I think if you are reading this I am not. A big decision lies ahead. You must let your heart guide the way. I love you. Please forgive me, Mom. Everything is about to change for Violet Eden. Strange dreams are leaving her with very real injuries and there's a dark tattoo weaving its way up her arms. She may rock at kickboxing, but right now she's not even sure what she's fighting. Lincoln has always been her one anchor in life, until he holds back one big lie. Phoenix is there to pick up the pieces, but he's all shades of gray. Is there anyone she can trust to tell the truth? Now, in a way, this one kind of reminds me of the Fallen series, kind of, with the little Dark Angel going on in it, but um, I think I might like this one maybe a little bit more. We'll see. But at the time, I was really into angels. And, I mean, I still kind of am. It's just been a really long time since I read an angel book. Besides the Mortal Instruments series about the angels there. But you see where I'm going? Eh? Eh? Okay. We're moving on. <laughs> Alright, the next series I've also had on my shelves, I think maybe since 2013 at least with the first two books. But anyway, that is... Betrayals by Dan Wells. This is the first book. Alright. When our ancestors were attacked at Pearl Harbor, they called it a day that would live in in famine. The day the Parterials attacked us with the RM virus will not live in anything because there will be none of us left to remember it. President David R. Cregan March 21st, 2065 in a press conference at the White House. Three hours later, he hanged himself. That sounds kind of interesting. It sounds like it's in the future book, 2065, which hasn't even happened yet. So, we have that kind of world, so it's kind of scary, but it sounds like, again, it'll be really good. And it may or may not remind me of the Hunger Games, so, you know, we'll see how good it is. I'm hoping really good. Alright, the next book I've had on my shelves for ages, I got it one year, I think either for Christmas or for my birthday. Have I gotten to it? No. Okay, I've had it since like around 2017, so not that bad, but it seems bad. But that is A Far From the Tree by Robin Benway, and I am going to read what it's about. Being the middle child has put its ups and downs, but for Grace, an only child who was adopted at birth, discovering that she is a middle child is a different ride altogether. After getting pregnant at 16 and putting her own baby up for adoption, she goes looking for a biological family and finds an older brother and a younger sister. But she struggles to find the balance between her cautious joy at discovering two brand new family members and the gaping loneliness that lingers in the space her daughter once held. Maya, her loud mouth a younger bio sister, has a lot to say about their new fond families. Having grown up the snarky brunette in the, a house full of chipper redheads, she's quick to search for traces of herself among these not-quite-strangers. 
when her adoptive family's long buried problems begin to explode to the surface, Maya can't help but wonder exactly it is she belongs. Jacqueline. Their static older bio brother has no interest in bonding over their shared loss of a biological mother. After all, he is the only one of the three who has never been adopted, and 17 years in foster care system have taught him his secrets and fears are best kept close to the vest, tight to his chest, where they can't hurt anyone but him. You know, it kind of sounds good, so hopefully it comes out that way. Alright, you guys, there are the 10 books that I picked out from my little jar that I'm hoping to get through soon. I don't know if it's going to be on my March TBR, but just know I want to read them soon. So I figured I would do a fun little video about it and explain what the books are. So I think that was a good time. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscription or subscription, the subscribe button right down there, hit the notification bell so you can get emailed from me whenever I post, and I will see you guys in a new video soon. Okay, okay bye guys!